guys, it's Sam, and ooh, I look so tired. I have absolutely no makeup on. I just brushed my hair for this video. I am going to be showing you what is uh, what I took with me makeup-wise for my trip to Florida. It did happen. I am back home now, and I just want to quickly show you my henna. If you follow me on Instagram, I posted a bunch of pictures, and unfortunately, I didn't do. I started vlogging. But then it just, it was just kind of like a whirlwind trip. I was there for, I was, my flight was delayed from Thursday. Uh, so I was supposed to fly out Thursday and it was delayed and we didn't get it until late. And so it was really Thursday night to Sunday afternoon. And I just was trying to enjoy myself and I kind of didn't feel that well the last part of the trip. And I was only there for like about three days. So. Um, and I did get super tanned or maybe not super but I got uh, a lot of sun it was supposed to rain the entire weekend so I was so glad it didn't it rained maybe twice and not even for that long either people were saying that it was crazy rain and the weather reports were saying all saying rain but it really didn't happen and I was so happy so um, let's get on to the point of the video. Um, my friend, she looked beautiful. I was, she had about three outfit changes. It was amazing. And she just, I'm so happy for her. And I'm glad it's over because, just because I know she was really stressed out. I hope she got to enjoy the day. And congratulations to my friend. I was just so happy. So this is the bag that I took. Uh, it fits all the makeup that I need like if I overfill this bag then there's a problem because I shouldn't need that much makeup so this is a perfect size you've seen this before it was for the same wedding um, it was the, the her bachelorette party so and then I will tell you what I used and what I didn't use this I didn't use at all forget it with the Florida weather and plus when you are like running around doing activities I waited till like it was just too late for me to I could have I guess blue dry my hair but I was like no I'm not gonna do that I'll just wash it and leave it as is so I didn't use this at all and then I brought this it was really my toiletry bag but I just show you anyway this is just kind of like a, a washcloth but it's an exfoliating washcloth and I feel like this kind of helps my skin to stay a little bit softer uh, because I use uh, not just the regular soft washcloth. Okay, so I would do this in some type of order, but since this bag is just filled with stuff. Oh, Ava just opened the door on her own. Hi, Ava. Go up to bed. Hold on one second. Okay, there's the queen. Oh, uh, that's another thing. I miss my dog so much, and I know some of you are like, what? You were in Florida, but she's seriously like my baby. Um, I don't have any kids and of my own, and just I missed her so much when I came home. Her, she's very independent, and normally she doesn't show me that much love. But I came home, she was licking me, her tail was wagging, and I just I enjoyed that moment because it didn't last very long. Okay, so to take off my makeup, I brought the Kirkland, the wipes, and I wish it was on top of it. Actually, oh here it goes. And this is uh, the Trader Joe's cleansing makeup oil that I like. I use this to remove my eye makeup and it could have been used for removing my whole face makeup too. And you know what? I will try to do this in some type of order. So the foundation I used and I fell in love with this foundation on the trip. This is the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation. I use the color uh, Medium 52 Warm and it was now we're talking about high 80s and 90s and humid the thing is the humidity and it so the day of the wedding i wore this and my makeup stayed on we were sweating i was actually taking napkins and dabbing it on my face and sweat was coming off but not the makeup so i have to say i think this is like my foundation i am so impressed with it and you don't need concealer I put it on because I I brought it with me but this amazing love it and I did use the beauty blender which I have to clean so this in love 
Okay, next would be concealer, and I use also the Beauty Blender to put this in. This is the It, Bi it Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer, and I use the color. This is medium, and I don't know, sometimes it doesn't zoom in, but I, it's medium, and I like this as well. It goes on pretty good, pretty good, pretty well, and um, very full coverage. And this is also waterproof, so I'm gonna say this was great too. Uh, for powder, I brought the NYX Stay Matte but not flat. This is a new one. This is in natural. Looks like that. And this just gives coverage and a very smooth finish. I used it with the Makeup Forever uh, Kabuki brush. And then, I love this henna by the way. It's like I, I have put on an Instagram post. It's a tattoo without the commitment. I've always wanted a tattoo, and this totally fills that that want of having a tattoo without having to commit to it. So that's pretty cool. Oh, for primer, I've got face primer. I have put in the uh, what is this? Oh, the Nivea Men Sensitive. I wasn't gonna bring this whole thing, so I put it into. I had one of these sample a jar, so I put it into that, and that also I believe helped with the extra staying power. And then for blush, oh no, for contour, now this, I, it was a little bit bulky, and if I find another favorite, but I don't know, Kat Von D is hitting it out of the park for me. So this is the Shade and Light Contour and Highlight Palette. I love this. I have brought this with me several times on trips, and I do love it, um, but I feel like the packaging is just too big for a trip, especially a short trip, so I gotta find a smaller alternative, and then blush this is the elf blush palette the dark one it's my favorite it gives you pretty good choices uh, so you have a bright pink kind of a light pink and then a darker pink they're all pretty much pink this is sort of this is peachier actually and then this is a, a pink with some sparkle so love the love this blush and I usually bring that with me on trips for highlight I brought this is the Becca I always forget the name. The Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. And just to show you, I use this also in the inner corner. And I didn't really do eye makeup or wear any lipstick. So what I'm going to show you soon, like, wow, you brought a lot of stuff. Uh, so this is the Kat Von D Shade and Light. I, and I do like this, I use the black. That was it. I just didn't have time to do like a really intricate look and it was when, you, when you're hot too you I feel like you are prone to do less and then um, I did do my eye makeup just for the one that wedding night and I I put the Urban Decay Prime Potion Eat It and love this I am just gonna I was trying all these drugstore alternatives there might I think there's one more the Milani one I want to try uh, but this is amazing. I love it. I love the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I'm glad that the Eden worked out because I always used to use the original. But the Eden has some color. So I'm glad that I found that that it worked for me. This is the Elf Smudge Pot in Wine Knot. And this is just my go-to. It looks great with anything put on top of it. So I put that. I used that once. Uh, and then the palette, another palette, a smaller one. Is the nylon and Mimi box and just all the colors in here uh, specifically the eyeshadows uh, these three and these two I mixed these two for on top of uh, why not and just really really uh, pigmented and the colors look beautiful uh, to set all my makeup I use the elf mist and set this is just what I bring with me I love it and I feel like it makes my makeup look less cakey the best than the other ones for contour, I use this brush. Uh, for blush, I use this brush. And then for highlight, I use the... Oh, so I didn't tell you. This is uh, the brand Cuvange that I got from Amazon, which I love. Up and Up. And this is e.l.f. For eyes, let's see. I did use the spoolie side and the um, this side I use... I don't normally do my eyebrows that much so I just use this to put um, the black cap on the eyeshadow 
and this is to put powder underneath my eye which I did use I used both of these elf uh, blending brushes this is a Sigma and which I don't know what brand this is I feel like it's Sedona Lace but again I sort of don't Sedona Lace puts names on their brushes so uh, Sonia Kashuk eyelash curler can't live without this without this my favorite um, eyelash curler mascara I use this I have bought a new one because I know that holds my curls and it is waterproof I didn't oh I did use this this is a Sigma travel blending brush for my eyebrows I use the it cosmetics brow powder which I didn't love on this trip I felt like it got really hard I don't it's not old either so I don't know what happened there I didn't use this mini beauty blender I just find it silly I don't know why I brought it I just took it with me just in case um, I brought nail filer you always need another nail filer but to get underneath your nail and then tweezers these are my travel tweezers for lipsticks I went a little bit crazy but I was like you know what I might I just wanted a few choices this is a berry lipstick by Maybelline I'll just show you it's really really pretty I love that color um, I brought let's see the NYX liquid suede and this is in vintage and then this is color pop and chili and then this is a NYX soft matte lip cream are you okay Ava? she's like whining or something uh, and this is in Seoul and I did bring a red. This is a Givenchy in Granat in a tea. Kind of hard to see, but yeah, this is a red. I didn't wear, I wore one, I wore, did I wear any lipstick? I didn't wear any lipstick. I just put on lip gloss and a little bit of highlight right here, and that was it. Um, I did use... Nope, I didn't use these either. These are the two eye eyeliners that I brought. Three eyeliners that I brought. I didn't use them. These two are Milani, and this is Marc Jacobs. And a nail, fi nail clip clipper that I didn't use. So, I, did, I think I did pretty well makeup-wise. I have to remember that in the future, I'm going to... Not that all trips are always going to be running around, but a trip like this is going to be... A lot of running around, not a lot of time to get ready. Your hair is probably going to be um, kind of crazy from the pool and the beach and stuff. And it's just, I get lazy, so I just don't need as much makeup. And I have to remember that. But I think I did pretty well. I might do an unpacking video, but probably not. It's, I, oh no, I can't. I unpacked already. Oh my goodness. I am so tired, guys. I don't know my... With the flights being delayed and just, uh, I don't know, my stomach is super sensitive. I started getting my period, which is never any fun. I just am so tired. So forgive me for not exactly knowing that I packed my suitcase away. That's so silly. Um, I packed that away, but I do have a toiletries bag, which I might show you. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!